Hello, my name is Yoni. This is in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a VB application, Visual Basic Console application, and how to use global variables, local variables, and constants. So to get started, I'm using Visual Studio 2019, but if you're using any previous version of Visual Studio, the process is pretty much the same. You go to File, New Project, and then you select uh, the, from the Languages menu, you select Visual Basics, and from the Visual Basic panel, you're going to select uh, Lang App, Console App, the .NET Framework. So you select it and then click next. You named your app appropriately. I'm just going to call it VARS. And then select create. Like I said before, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create uh, local global variables and how to actually use global variables by using multiple modules as well. So. In this case, I'm just going to, above uh, the sub main, I'm going to create my first global variable. So I'm going to say dim uh, a as integer. So now I'm just going to say here within the sub, I'm just going to say dim b as integer. Now I've got here two variables. One is global, one is local. It's local because it's local to this sub. It's global because if I use any functions, if I create any functions later on, I will be able to still use the A uh, variable. Now, the A variable, I'm going to make it constant. So I'm going to say is equals to 2. Now, the B variable, I will basically, I will be able to actually leave the B variable as a uh, a variable that people will be able to change. Okay, to do this, I will need to say here console dot right line, and then I'm going to prompt the user to add uh, something, uh, a number. Please add a number. All right, then. I will capture, I want to capture what number the user has put. So I'm going to say b equals, so my variable b is equals to wherever the user will type. So I'm going to say console dot read line. Okay, so that's how I'm going to capture the value b. Then I will say b, and so console dot right line and then I will say a plus oops a plus b okay so now I've done this this will return the add the two values together now then I would like to actually say console dot read line Okay, so it's going to read the line, it's going to write the line, and then it's going to read the line. Okay, so the line is going to read, it's going to be that one. Now I could put the value here as well. Let's test it by clicking the start button. <clears throat> okay, the application loads, please add a number. I'm just going to press the, uh, the number 22, let's say, and I'm going to press enter. Now 22 plus 2 equals 24. So my application works fine. So that's how you add in a global variable. Now, this global variable, however, only refers to this module one. What if you wanted to have multiple modules? How can you actually transfer this variable to make it truly global? In order to do this, you need to go to project and add a new module. I'm just going to call this module of mine global var variables. So I'm just going to call it global gvars. And then click add. If I go to my solution explorer, I will be able to see, let's pin this here, we'll be able to see that I've got the gvars module. 
Now the GMR VARS module, I'm just gonna code that from here. And then I'm gonna put on the GVARS module, paste it. And the only thing I need to do is change that to public. Then I can go back to the module one, get this other variable of mine, cut it, and then put it with the rest of my, my variables. So that way, this way, I have basically all my variables in one place. And also there are public variables. Okay, so if I run the application again, it's gonna run the module on up. So please, please add the number. So I'm just gonna put 30 plus two, which is my constant, is 32. Okay, it's working fine. That's this is how basically you add in global variables in Visual Basics. The process, is pre, as you can see, the process is pretty simple. I hope you've learned something new today. I hope you will be able to apply this new uh, technique onto your project. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.